What's up guys? It's Talia. Um, coming to you today on this Sunday, August the 6th. Um, hopefully it'll be a shorter, lot shorter video than it was last week. Because I don't have a whole lot to show. Got a little bit, but not a lot. So, we're just going to go dive right in. Uh, as far as whips go, I do have my notebook. I did write some things in. So, uh, I'll just set it down here in my lap. Uh, the first thing, I don't know what I got to do on Sunday. I think I was just doing so much on Sunday that I don't know if I really got a chance to work on anything. Um, Monday, what did I work on? Just had, there it is. Thought I lost it, but I had it. Um, Monday, I got a little bit of work in on the Dale and Hart Jr. That's what it's supposed to look like in the end. Um, I didn't get a lot done. Because I was just, it was... I'm not going to say it was like all that busy, but I did have some work things to do, and I didn't get a lot done in between. I was just kind of feel like it me when it came to stitching. So, this is where it sits at now. The last time you saw this, um, I think I had, I was down to like here, maybe like right here, and then I had this little section right here done, um, but I only had like down to here. So basically I've done like, I did all this on Monday. I did, put, this is the very bottom of the eight. So, of the, the second eight. So, so where it sits at now, there's not a lot to tell. Um, just a white 18 count Ada. I think it's 18 count. Yeah, it's 18 count. This is a restart, obviously. Um, may I'm, I'm not making any promises for today. Um, then on Tuesday, when I was off, I decided to try to put my new magnifying glasses to the test. And I pulled out the Coffee Quaker by the Heartstring Samplery. And the reason I say I'm putting this to the test is because I'm doing it on 40 count. This is my only 40 count that I've ever worked on. This is by far the highest count I've ever worked on. I do have another piece on 36 count, but this was the highest by far. This is where it sits at now. Um, the last time you saw this, I did have the words done. But I only had, like, the border of this motif, like, from, like, down here all the way up to around right here done. So, what I did Tuesday, I finished off the, the second part of the border and then everything inside. So, there's that. Um, one thing I did notice about this pattern, though, as you notice... As you notice, the initials that it's charted in, the, the initials that it has, which is the B, B W T, B W, is it w, yeah, w right there? Yeah, B W and then T. Those actually, those are the designers' initials, and. They do, they do include an alphabet in here, but it does not match up to the style that these are in. It doesn't, it's not the same style. So, what I did, since my first initial is a T, and I put in T as my initial, I used the example they had right there because the alphabet that they included it actually comes out one more stitch on each side of the the top top part the top line so 
and that wasn't going to fit. I mean, this was already pushing it. You see, this was already pushing it. I, if I didn't want to come out one more space on each side, like the the height is the same, but it would have came out to like here, and I, I don't know. I didn't like that, so I just I just copied the the other T that they had right there. So that's the T that I use. What I want to do for the other two initials, don't know yet. I'll have to conquer that bridge when I get to it. So there's what. That's where that one sits. But I did notice that, and I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. But the style of alphabet that they give you in order to put your initials in, your own initials, is not the same as what is on the chart. I hate it when charts do that. I mean, I hate it when the people stitching the model do that. It's like, why are you so special that you gotta completely change it up? Like, maybe we like that too. Anyway, um, Wednesday was a little tricky day because I was working at the lo more local store, which is just a few minutes down the road down here. But I wasn't feeling good. Um, I had something come on Tuesday, like later on in the evening. And it was still, I was still feeling it on Wednesday. And so, I actually ended up calling the guy and telling him, look, I just, I, I'm hurting. And I just, like, I'm just not comfortable no matter what I do. Like, I just, and I just, I just don't feel good. And so, I had intended on maybe telling him to see if he could work like half a day to come in at like maybe around 2 or 3 or whatever but I was messaging him at like 12.30 and so he ended up actually going ahead and showing up a few minutes later so he's like no it's okay it's okay I was like well okay well, just let me know if you need that extra time back you know so I came home early Wednesday and considering that I, I wasn't feeling that good you would think oh you know you get home, you get you go home from work early stitchy day I did stitch, but I wasn't really feeling great, so I didn't get a whole lot done. And I did pull out, when I was working, when I was at the other store, when I was at the store, when I was at work, before I left, I was trying to work on, actually, the Teresa Wensler Egyptian Sampler, since me and Ingeborg kind of, well, mostly Ingeborg, she had showed where she had purchased the Egyptian sampler pattern because she saw it in my video and it kind of made me want to get mine back out and work on it again so I did work on it a little bit like I, I literally maybe put 20 stitches in but before I left uh, the store on Wednesday not enough to show you right now so I'll just it'll be included with the next update so when I got home, I did work on this, and um, this is the Lion and the Lamb by the Cricut Collection. You've seen it enough. Don't really feel like showing you the picture, and I think it's actually it's actually over there in my stuff. I this was already on still on the queue snap, so I just pulled this out. Um, Wednesday, um, I got when I got home. Um, I, I finished the lamb, the fleece and the lamb, um, which actually took me several hours because I didn't feel good and because this three strand stitching on a 16 count dyed beta is such a headache. So I just, I finished the, the fleece and the lamb and then I went ahead and did the dark gray, the ears, the face and the black right there. Um, and then when I picked this up again on Thursday, yeah, I picked this up again Thursday, but it was kind of busy. Um, but I got a, I got in a couple hours on it in the morning before it really picked up. And then I just got the, um, I started on his foot. Because he has another 
he has another paw that comes out and then there's another one that comes around so that's really all I got done like I said I finished the lamb on Wednesday when I got home and then uh, picked it up again Thursday morning and got the lion's paw done and that's it so that's all the progress I got done on my whips um, so I did get a few things done um, what I'm doing like on my days off I'm pretty much like resigned my not resigned myself I pretty much decided that I'm gonna work on what I feel like working on on my days off whether it's year of whips or not if I want to pull out something like save the stitches or if I want to pull out lost boys and work on it all day um see again I do I do still think about it constantly I just actually getting to be able to go and pull it out is another deal but basically if I want to work on something that's part of the year of whips I'll do that if I want to work on something else I'll do that and not feel bad about it I can get my finishes in um as a matter of fact I'm trying to see about getting three finishes this month and I can do it I just got to actually buckle down now that school is starting back and things will probably calm down at store again I think I could probably do it um I am holding myself to finishing the lion and the lamb the sarcasm and that's, I think that's another one I gotta show you now I'll, I'll show you in a second sarcasm and the patchwork pumpkin. Patchwork pumpkin is going to require a little bit more to finish, but I know the lion and lamb and sarcasm I could probably get done fairly quickly, like within a couple of days at the most. Sarcasm, maybe like three days, depends on how much I get to work on. Um, I just had it. Did I put it back already? It's right here. Um, I did get to work on, I did work on sarcasm a little bit Friday night. Um, if you remember, this was my restart because I hated working on my original uh, incarnation of it. This is what it looks like. Um, it's a free pattern. This is the pattern, but it's free pattern. It's from, you can get it from the Cross Stitching Guild Facebook page. She has several free patterns on there. I've already done one of hers, one of Michaela's patterns already, which is the, um, like, reasons why I like cross stitch. It was the one that was, like, checked off. Um, this is where it sits at now. Last time we saw this, um, this was done, and then I only had the B and the E done in the cause, and then I did these, I did these four letters just in a couple of hours on Friday night after work. So, and if you remember, I don't get home till usually between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. And so I came home and just immediately got right down to it and stitched. So, well, ate some SpaghettiOs first, then stitched. So, um, and this, this one you can kind of see a little bit better, the difference. This was the, um, one strand 310, one strand of black Krennic blending filament. Hated, hate that. And then this is the new, the new Dinky Dye Silk, which is the, um, Black Coral is the name of it. So, get my River Song. River Song Needle Minder. Because I kind of feel like she fits this sentiment. Yeah. Um, so, that's all I worked on this week. I love my new glasses. Those magnifying glasses that I talked about before. I love them. I absolutely love them. Because the reason I said I put my 
glasses to the test on Tuesday when I worked on Copy Quaker because I wanted to see how well they did with 40 count. And it made it look like, looking through the glasses, it made it look like like 32 count with normal vision. The cats are focusing on something in front of the door. I'm just hoping it's not something that's trying to get in. We've got a lot of like those little geckos around. So I found a couple of flattened and dead ones around the house. I don't know if they're killing them or what. So I don't know. Um, I got a couple of things in in the mail. Um, not very much. I did get an order from Molly at the Everyday Stitcher from, from an order from a couple from a few weeks ago. Um, she works so hard, y'all, um, but she has her own health issues, and so she, she does the best that she can with what she has to work with. Um, so sometimes the orders might be a little bit later than get, getting out, but she, she really works so hard, you guys. She works these super long days when her doctor is telling her not to, to kind of scale back how much she works, but she... She just works so hard. She just wants to, to make everybody happy. And I keep having to tell her, Molly, stop putting your health at risk. We're fine. You know. So. Um, I got a few more of the round ones. Got the... These, are, these two are from Legends of Tomorrow. You've got Arthur Darvel as... Um, Captain Rick Rip Hunter, and then you've got Wentworth Miller as um, Captain Cold, aka Leonard Snart. Love Wentworth Miller, God, he's so gorgeous. And then these two are from The Flash. Barry Allen as The Flash, and then Cisco Ramon. And then I also got. How did you get upside down? Then I also got a couple more resin ones. Got the Sugar Skull Jasmine and the kind of the aerial thing. Sorry. Really? Okay. Um, sorry. Um, and then the kind of profile aerial with her the scene with her sitting on a rock. Got those in, and then the July fabric of the month from Under the Sea Fabrics came in. This is Love Child, which was a collaboration with Tracy P. when she went to visit Leslie. It's going to be hard to see it right now because there's so much light. But it is kind of a, I don't know how, how to describe it any other way than Pepto-Bismol Pink and gray. It's a mix of mottled like pink and gray. Very pretty. Um, but I don't say Pepto-Bismol pink as a bad thing. I'm saying it as a descriptor. That's what this color pink actually is. So if you can imagine the color of Pepto-Bismol, put it on a fabric and model it with a light gray and that's what this fabric is very pretty though I don't have any pink fabric which is surprising actually no I take that back I do have pink fabric but only because it's the other half of the fabric that I use to stitch my daughters from a while back which fun fact I still haven't I still haven't framed yet I suck at framing, you guys. Not that I suck at framing itself. I suck at actually going through and finishing things. So. Um, 
like I said, not a lot um, as far as haul. The only other thing I have to show, well, not show, but the only thing I have for you guys is my new watches. Um, first one is actually going to be Schoolhouse Stitcher. She only has like a couple of videos right now. Um, and I'm sorry I was trying to watch, but I kept getting pulled in other directions. So, um, the only thing I really caught was that, yeah, I see him now. It's another gecko. Um, the only thing I really caught was the fact that her channel name is not her channel name because she's a teacher. Um, like, oh, she's a teacher. She works in a schoolhouse. She, her name comes from, she lives in a converted old school. They converted them to apartments, I guess. So, it's an old school house. But she lives in an old school house, so. Um, I'm sorry. I guess I need, I guess I should probably go back and watch her videos. Um, the next one is going to be M. Kissa. It's uh, capital M, capital K, lowercase I-S-S-A. Um, she's actually been doing videos, uh, for a while. She, she did videos before. Kind of a talk with me type of thing before. And she left YouTube for about, I guess, what is it, like six or seven years. And then she came back in February of last year doing floss tube. So I still need to finish. I only got into like a few videos of hers because I wanted to go start in order. So I started with her first floss tube. And I think I got in like maybe to the third or fourth one. Um, but I, I I'm going to finish. I'm going to catch up. I promise. Um, her name is Marissa. And I'm, I promise Marissa I'm that I'm going to catch up on you. Um, but I do know that she, she lives in California. And she was going to try to do her 2016 year starts, one per week. She was going to try to do them all in Halloween themed projects. And in the first few videos, um, I know she had fallen behind on doing a couple so I'm not sure yet how that turned out but if you like the Halloween themed the Halloween projects go check her out she's she's cute she's really cute um and then lastly is Shahrazad stitches I'm sorry I, I get so itchy up here like in the morning sometimes and um, the last one is Shahrazad stitches and she only has the one video out right now um, and her name is Sarah, and she's from the UK, and she actually starts her video off with showing all her past finishes, um, not many of them are actually, uh, FFO'd, but they're just completed, um, and then she goes into what she's working on, I mean, which is, it's standard fare. She has the haze. She has her mirabilias. She has her other stuff. Um, so yeah. But I just she she's a she's cute. She's a, she's another one of those like the real quiet, soft spoken stitchers. So um not that she got like really turned her volume up but she's just not she's she's a little bit more low-key what the heck was that um she's a little bit more low-key so go check her out um as far as i can think of the only other thing i had that i wanted to mention was i am uh i'm already starting planning on my on, on a 2018 Stitch Mania like in its original form um, if you remember these last couple of years this year and last year I only did one per week and 
I started writing things down. And it's like, I just, there's so many patterns that I want to start. I think I'm going to try to do the original Stitch Mania next year. If I don't, I, I'm probably not, but there's a slim chance I may go ahead and do all 31 days. Um, slim chance. Don't hold me to it. But I'm at least going to be doing the original first 15 days. What A start every day for the first 15 days. Um, I wouldn't make it work. I wouldn't make it happen. Um, I've got... But of course, I mean, you know me. If I get in my head that... Like, if I get a new pattern. Or... I get in a bad mood or you know depressed or whatever I'll start something I don't deny myself that um, but I'm just not I'm not doing your whips next year which is a finishing thing uh, I'm not doing your starts next year uh, it's either do stitch mania or do your starts so I would rather just have that all those starts kind of crammed into one little area of time than to worry about trying to start something every month um but I am starting planning I've got a few things kitted up pattern with fabric um which to me is the most important thing that, that's what I do is I start with the pattern I will find the fabric um and once I get I will put the pattern pattern to the fabric first then I'll worry about flaws. Um, so I've got a few things kitted up so far. Uh, as far as putting pattern with fabric. Um, but since Stitch Mania is still so far away. I've got time to work on getting the, the threads later on. What I might do is something I've actually been thinking about as well. As not doing stitch from stash the first half of next year maybe we'll see um, I might could I can I might can make it happen in those few months beforehand um, if I just purchase like a little bit at a time once I get I, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm going to afford the kit for my shadow lane which I'm going to have to order that at least by October. I would say October just to make sure it has enough time to get here. Um, so that I can start it on January 1st. So I'm going to have to get in a few larger finishes. Possibly sell some stuff. Um, which I don't have a lot of stash that I can sell. A lot of stash that I would want to sell. Um... So I'm going to have to finagle some things and to be able to afford that kit. Because it's just a kit for the, the threads from European Cross Stitch for that shad lane is about $200. It's a little, a little over $200. I want to say it's like two, two twenty nine maybe? Something like that? Um, in that $200 range. So lower $200 range. Um... Which I know I could probably kit it up with DMC, but this is this is me. This I don't I want to make it the best shad lane that I can make it, considering it's my first one. Um, maybe on my second shad lane, maybe I'll opt for the DMC. We'll see. Um, but I gotta get past my first one first. Um, so. You already know that I'm starting my shadow lane on January 1st, and you already know also that I'm going to be doing the Krabby All Year from Raise the Roof Designs. I'm going to be doing that series starting in January as well. I'm, I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing it monthly, as in January and January, the February block in February, March block in March, so on and so forth. Um, I still need to get the buttons for that because each block has a button 
Um, and then the rest, I'll come up with something to do for my birthday, which I always do. I might treat myself to one of the hates that I've been coveting if I don't get to them yet. If I don't get to them before that. Of course, I might, I might can just go ahead and buy the haze. And then start it on my, for my birthday. We'll see. Um, and then Stitch Mania, I'm working on cutting up things. I've got at least one of the other Soda Stitch patterns that I had y'all choose from. And to let you know, I know this is like, just kind of thrown in here in the middle of a video, but just to let you know, the pattern that won out, I know I, I forgot to mention it last time, the pattern that won out in my poll, of course, was the big freaking Four Seasons watercolor soda stitch, the one that I had to order the yard of fabric for. That's the one that y'all voted on me to start on. It didn't win by a whole lot. It won by maybe like a couple of votes against um, the Princess Mermaids. So maybe I'll start, maybe the Princess Mermaids will be the one that I start um, in Mania next year. I'm not trying to start them all at the same time. I don't know. I'm still planning it. So I've got I've got maybe about three-fourths of a list um, together, but I'm leaving a couple open in case some other things come out in the future that I maybe want to do. Um, so yeah, I'm already working on Stitch Mania next year so that I can be well prepared and so I'm not trying to like throw everything all together at, at like within a couple of months before because my wallet can't handle that. Um, so yeah. I guess that's going to be it for today. Um, I'm excited. I have a meet up. Um, day after tomorrow. With Dina and the girls. Down here in the Warner Robin Centerville area. At the Centerville Library. Um, Anybody that's in Georgia, if you're within driving distance, you're welcome to come join us. Um, starts at 10 a.m. and runs to like 5 or 6 in the evening, I think. Um, again, at the Centerville Library. I think it's on Gun Road. G-U-N-N, -N, Gun Road. So, it's in the Georgia Cross Stitchers um, Facebook page. Um... If you're not a member already, but you live in Georgia, or you live, like, right on the, or if you live, like, right on the Georgia border in the other states, if you're willing to come, um, to a meetup, like, if you're willing to drive into Georgia, uh, you're more than welcome to request to join. Um, like I said, the information is there on the Georgia Cross Stitchers group Facebook page. Um, as a event, um, but yeah, come out and join us. I know, I know Dina's going to be there. I'm not sure. I don't. I, I'm hoping Melody is going to be there. I don't think Stephanie. I think she said she wasn't going to be able to make it this time. Um, unfortunately, Lisa said she was going to have. She had to work, so. But, there's, but I know there's a few other of us that are coming. Um, so it'd be good to meet some new people this time around. Um, I know Dina's going to be moving soon. Not soon, but I know she's going to be moving within the next couple of months um, to her new house. And it's, it's a little bit further away. So... Um, so yeah, I guess that's it this time. Um, I know it's it's a lot bit longer than I had wanted it to be originally, than I thought this video was going to be, but you know, I talk. I talk way too much. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I guess that's going to do it for this video. 
Um, I guess I will see you guys next time. Hope you have a great week. Have a great stitchy week. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.